Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Bolt CNC, my name is Nugent and today we are going to go and create a power scale for us so we can see on what um, settings we must put our machine whenever we do certain engravings now you need to do this for every single type of material you get even after a week that you've had your machine the wood might be a little more damp or a little drier so it will burn differently so without further ado let's quickly do this first we select the rectangle or square um, thingy and we make it let's say 10 by 10 and uh, now we click the array tool we make it 10 by 10 we click OK now let's quickly highlight everything and then just move it down now you see now let's quickly put in some text I would say I'm going to do it 10 20% 30% 40% 50% 60% 70% 80% 90 and 100 now this is our power scale that we are going to use. Let's just quickly align them vertically, um, horizontally, and then we do how fast we are going to go. Say 1000, 1200, 1400. 1600, 1800, 2000, 2200. Now, you don't have to do it like I do. You can do this in any way, form you wish to do it. I'm just doing this for the sake of this video. So, Quickly highlight everything. Okay. If you select from the left to the right, you will see only stuff that's only stuff that is selected fully will be selected. But if you select anything from the right hand side, you will see that everything is selected. So let's just make this pretty. Let's move this over a bit. I think that. Now let's move this a bit more. And this one as well. Sorry if my voice sounds funny. I've just been fighting a bit of a flu. just been fighting a bit of flu so let's just so now you see that everything is we're going to do a power scale of increments of 10% and then a speed test of 1000 to 2800 um, millimeter per minute so we're going to select from right from left to right so we can put this on the blue layer I'm going to do this with the second one as well second row and then we're quickly going to move through all of them and put them each on a different layer moving through the reason why we are selecting it for rows and not for the columns is because in the rows we can select a specific layer that we want and we want that to be our speed 
it gets a little, a little more tricky if we do it just via the columns. So okay, we select everybody. Now we go here. Okay, let's just move this one down, 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 all the way down to the last layer. Open this. See our first one is 1000. Let's just move to see our speed variables. Blue one will be 1000. This will be 1200. 1200, sorry. This one will be 1400. 1600. 2000 now you can do the increments in 100s, 10s, even 50s, just depends on you how you are going to do it. Are we going with 2400, 600? Finally, I think my laser bit messed up. I think this must be the 2600, and this must be the 2800. Let's click OK. Let's just see our final layer should be yes. Finally, it should be that maroon color, and yes. Let's quickly do the percentages of power. Now we select from left to right and we go to shape properties. You now we're going to be this is going to be 10 percent. This is going to be 20. Thirty percent from the bottom. Forty. See when I select from the right hand side, I do not need to touch the full block. It just gives me. Just select everything that is touched. Makes my work a lot easier. Okay, almost done. Seventy percent. Eighty. Ninety. And for the last block, we don't have to do that because it is already on 100%. Let's quickly highlight this and put them on the maximum layer. As well as this. So we know they will definitely cut. And that's it. I will put in a few pictures of power scales that I've done. But please go ahead, like and subscribe. And hopefully every Monday I'll be putting out a tutorial on light burn.